Georgia Nichols, our guest, she is an astrologer, as you probably know by now. And this book is so good, You and Your Future. We have fun it with is. it almost every day at yes. our house. Yes. So let's start with the Aries. The right. Aries, Absolutely. Uh, belly Aries. to handle money, what? Okay, funny you should mention money because that's exactly the code word for Aries this year. Aries can make more money uh, this year and into next year. For the next 18 months, they have the best chance of boosting their income than they have had in over a decade. Mm. Um, they will have to get out of bed, okay? That too. <laughs> it isn't just going to come raining in on them. Mm -hmm. But they can do it. Uh, and furthermore, they're working hard. They are physically active. They're working so hard, they're even delegating. They're kind of almost getting bossy, but they're giving orders and things like mm -hmm. this. And um, probably what has motivated them is they're having, I don't know if this is motivation, but many areas are getting out of relationships right now, or relationships are ending, or they are problematic. And Aries are just moving on. Okay, romantic right. or otherwise. Yeah, yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. and the Taurus, that bull. Taurus. Taurus, well, Jupiter is in Taurus, and it's going to stay there for the first six mm. months of this year. And Jupiter represents wealth and increase and magnification and good fortune. So the Tauruses are lucky, in a word, just lucky. Lucky. The only downside is they might gain weight because everything's coming to them, so even flesh I to the see. bone. So they work, they play, they have yes. fun, and good that's year. exactly it. They My are time working. is now. Yes. They are working hard because Saturn is in their sixth house of employment. They're working hard and Mars is in the fifth house. So for about six months now, so they are going to go on vacations, parties, romance, love affairs, all of that, sports. Taurus sports people will be very good this year. Okay, can I yeah. change signs? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Gemini. Gemini, Gemini, May 21st to June Gemini. 20th, in case Gemini, you don't know. Gemini's having a little tension at home mm -hmm. because they're having a chaotic activity at home or a lot of increased activity at home or they're moving or residential changes or maybe they're renovating, but something is causing stress and they could be mm, 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 kind of arguing at home. So they should mellow out a little bit. Um, they don't have to be arguing, but there's a good chance. There is a lot of right. increased activity, more than they've ever had, or or confusion, I'll say that. Okay. But by June of this year, especially July for sure, uh, Jupiter comes into their sign for the first time in 12 years, and so they are suddenly going to feel as happy as Taurus. Well, right, yes. isn't that lovely? It is. And yeah. we go on to Cancer, which is June 21st to July 22nd, and I was reading in your uh, newspaper, yeah. letting go is not loss, it is freedom. Yes, that so is So does that mean true. Cancers are letting go? Uh, Not yes, dying, but. yes. Cancers are, uh, cancer is funny that because cancer is a sign that is, has the hardest time of letting go of anything. Right. In my book, I refer to them as a barnacle. They stay in the wrong relationships too long. Mm. They keep everything. They say, oh, I could use this one day. I mean, if you would live with a cancer, you know that. You know, okay. jars, string, anything. They just can't throw things away. Really? Because they think they'll, yeah. Typically, I have a bit of that, and I'm a Libra. Well, so you might have cancer in you, but I don't think you do, actually. Okay, never mind. Okay. But cancers are finishing up their home scene. They've been for several years now working on renovating their homes, fixing up their homes, or buying and selling. What it is for cancer is they have been motivated, and I think they'll finally finish it this year, mm. to uh, establish a solid home base. They want to have that feeling like, I've done it, we're okay. Okay. You know, I've got the wagons in a circle. Okay, now they can go on. And they're so very change. assertive this year. Yeah, they're very assertive because Mars is in their third house, so they are. it's good if they sell, market, promote. Mm. They're kind of actually coming on a bit strong. You have cancers floating around here, I remember that. Yeah. Yes, yeah, we I did. They're coming on pretty strong. Did you say did past tense? We did. <laughs> no, she's not here anymore, but oh, I think she that. was a cancer. My, I oh, think I so. Think, yes, there's And some gone cancers. and... You're right, and, likes to hold on to things. Uh, yes, and Jupiter, by the way, this is a very popular year for cancers. So people will help cancers, so they should like form working units or join clubs and groups, associations, mm -hmm. even a gym, something like that, because they will benefit from schmoozing. Oh, good. Leo, the lion. Leo. Leo, first off, Leos are very focused on money right now. They're trying to figure out how to earn more money. Can they get more money? What's happening? They're checking their bank account online all the time. Mm -hmm. And yet, ironically, they're spending a lot, too. Now, Leos traditionally spend a lot of money. They are the last of the big-time spenders. They are. Yeah, they will even borrow money to give you money. They will borrow <laughs> money to pick up the tab. It's all to do mm -hmm. with largesse and their show. Good, show I'm going to right. date a Leo. It, it, yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. That would be, I would totally recommend that. So they're focused on money. Uh, a lot of Leos are in the, contemplating a serious residential move and a job change. Mm -hmm. But here's the good news for Leos. Uh, Jupiter is traveling across the top of their chart, and so they were, will get promotions, praise, kudos, uh, some of them their name up in lights. It looks good for them. Oh, great. So a little yeah. richer, a little happier? Y in all ways? Richer, maybe. All I know is they're getting uh, their reputation shines. Okay. Their reputation well, shines. Well, sometimes you have to just rely on that. Yes, but sometimes that brings money. Mm hmm. Hopefully. Mm hmm. Virgo. Now, Virgo is. Uh, if Virgos, and I know I know one Virgo who's dealing with a very hard situation right now, so I am glad of this situation because Virgos have strength. They have the greatest mm. amount of strength and energy that they have ever had in decades and decades because it's very unusual that Mars is in one sign for eight months. Usually Mars is in one sign for six weeks every two years. And now through a fluke, it's in one sign for eight months. So like this is so unusual. And it's in Virgo. So that means that Virgos are empowered. They're really, in fact, if they're coming on too strong, they should get phys physical exercise. Um, <laughs> they're a little worried about money. They don't know where to earn it. They're wondering mm -hmm. what to do. But they want to travel. So they have opportunities in publishing, medicine, the law, higher education, travel, working with foreign right. countries. They can really expand. Well, the Virgos I know are pretty neat. They're kind of neat necks. They have their they little nest and it's, everything's neat. kind of perfect. Yeah, they like to be neat. They I can see. be slobs, but they want to be neat. Okay, they want yeah, to be neat. They want everything alphabetized. Oh, of <laughs> course. Yes. And the Librans. The Librans. Well, here we are. Librans. I think um, this is a Libran. Isn't Pardon? our show a Libran? Your show is a Libran and you are a Libran. This show, Great. the chart of this show and you are s almost synonymous. It's amazing because both you and the show are Libra, Scorpio, Rising. Right. So right. we'll die together. And I was looking at the chart in the stu of Studio 4 before I came in here mm -hmm. and it showed that some shift, like a home shift two and a half years ago. Is that when you changed the studio thing? It's about two no, and a half years ago it seems something uh, happened. I don't know. Oh, well, I just thought I'd mention that. What did we change? The set. We the had a set, set change, yes. says the floor director. Yes, because it And the Libra that doesn't up. pay attention to those <laughs> tiny details, does she? <laughs> no. Okay, so a set so change. For Librans, this is nice. This is a very good year to get a loan or a mortgage. Uh, you could have get an inheritance. But for Librans, money comes to them. And they don't have to get out of bed, by the way. Really? The money just comes. Just falls or through out a partner. of the sky. Right out of the sky. Mm -hmm. Or through a partner, but somehow, but or the doors are opening if you have to, like, do fundraising or get money to come to you. It's very, very good. And um, this is good because Libras are still freshly on this new path of reinventing themselves. It started mm. about a year or two ago, and they're... Uh, mm. Reinventing themselves. I did take a peek at your chart, and you really have a good scene with relationships coming up. I do. Surely, some. Who is poaching eggs at four in the I morning? I don't know, <laughs> but he's an ex. <laughs> oh well. But maybe we're getting back together. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? Um, yeah, isn't that interesting? Yeah. So romance. Well, my kids say every year we go to Western. I say, you know, when my Baron comes, and they say, Mom. You've been saying that for five years. <laughs> Give it a rest. <laughs> well, you're Scorpio rising, and yeah. we're talking about Scorpio right now. So this is the best year in 12 years for committed partnerships for really? Scorpio. In business, in pleasure, in all exactly. of that. Exactly. In it, business and exactly. pleasure and romance and, yeah, the whole thing. and that so, kind of thing. Yes. And okay. it means that they're very good at dealing with the public. And Scorpio right now is, is um, powerful uh, with groups, and they're mm. really thinking a lot about their goals. Are you thinking a lot about goals and future goals? Mm. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Just sort of really wondering, like, what right, am I doing? Right, because I have a Scorpio rising or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It shouldn't be yes. all about me. Yes. So Scorpios, the right. year for no. the Scorpio is, is successful. Yeah. Yes, yes. Well, it is. Uh, in particular, with um, the other thing that Scorpios are doing is they're getting rid of people, places, possessions. They're starting to dismantle everything they created since 1999, mm. and they're getting ready to go into a whole new thing around 2015. Okay, Sagittarius? Yeah. Sagittarius, very ambitious. The Sagittarians are ambitious this year. I was thinking how well that do wonderful doctor will be doing. Um, and Sagittarians can improve their job. They can get a better job, they can get better duties, they can get a better work scene around them, they can get rid of their evil boss, legally. Uh, they can, <laughs> so they are, and they can improve their health. Mm. Very much so. Okay. Very much so. So good mm -hmm. chart for the Sag. Yep. Everybody seems to have a good chart. Well, what it is, I like to look at what is potentially mm -hmm. good. And by the way, I'm totally aware that nobody's completely happy and right. we all suffer. 
and some people are suffering more than others. But believe me, everyone suffers. Of right? course, that's so I'm the just journey focusing on, yes. we're on, apparently. Right. Uh, I'm just focusing on the positive potential. Okay, Capricorn? Capricorn. Well, Capricorns, this is what they've been waiting for last mm -hmm. year and this year. They're on the top of the heap. They are uh, in a time of harvest. It's lasting for several years. They are really, uh, uh, they've arrived. So when you are in a time of harvest, you do see what is not working. But I say cut your losses. Don't even focus on that. Don't get hung up on failure because you can really do it. They can make any change they want. Uh, they're traveling. They're going on vacations. Oh. They're having lots of fun. In fact, they're traveling a lot. Hey. They have it all. Hey. Horses are lucky, but believe me, the Capricorns are laughing. They are. Right. Okay. So the Aquarians, how are they doing? Chef in London. I think yes, so. Exactly. That would be the former premier. Yes. The I high mean, commission. They, they've got His it Excellency, all. he's having His a good year. Excellency, mm. right. Aquarians. Aquarians have a fabulous time at home. This is a wonderful year for them to explore real mm -hmm. estate deals, uh, to buy and sell real estate, to put money into their own home, to buy things for their home. They're going to feel richer at home. They'll feel more enhanced, and their family life will be more joyful. People in the family will be nicer and more generous to each other. They might expand their family by uh, somebody moving in, or a baby, or an adoption, or even a cat something. Sure. But their home life is very, very enriched and they're getting ready. Squir um, Aquarians can tell they're getting ready for a good time about two to three years from now mm. when they're on top. So making the most out of every minute, those Aquarians. Yes. Uh, Pisces. Pisces. Pisces has an initial challenge right now. Remember I said Mars is in one place and it's so mm -hmm. unusual, it's there for, for eight months. Well, Mars is opposite Pisces. So it's very easy for Pisces to feel annoyed with friends and partners. Uh, they're having little fights with people they would normally never even you know, do this with. Um, and probably weeping, because Pisces rules the tear ducts. Oh. So they have to like lighten up there. Uh, but, and this is the good news about Pisces, Pisces has, for the first time in 12 years, a quality that allows them to think more positively. They're thinking in big, big ways. They believe, they're optimistic. Mm. And this is important because the thought is the beginning of everything, if you think right. about it. Everything yeah. is your of thought, course it right? Is. So from the thought comes the word, mm -hmm. right? And mm -hmm. then from the word springs the deed. And from the deed, eventually, it becomes habit. Mm -hmm. And habit hardens into character. Exactly. Right. Thoughts are real forces. Right. Change so your Pis thoughts, change your life. Pisces can change their lives. Really? Because they're going to have positive thoughts. Now, U.S. election coming up, and I know we have only 30 seconds, yes. but have you got a prediction? Absolutely. I see that Obama is going to be elected again because he's coming to a career peak in 2015. Mm. Now, that's the only thing I know for sure. He does have this time of harvest in 2015. Mm -hmm. Surely it doesn't mean he's not elected, but he gets a great presidential job. Eh -eh. I think it means he's president of the country, don't you? I do. That's what I would I think. do, and I don't yeah. know. Well, you yeah. look at the Republicans, yeah. they're having trouble finding a, right. a candidate. Right. No, Obama's in again. I'm happy. Well, there. <laughs> see, I won't make a political statement. Of course I won't. No. <laughs> How nice to see you. It's so great being so here. So great to see you. Thank you for getting up and taking that ferry across the pond. You, you and your future, Georgia Nichols, still available, one of the most popular books, going. Uh, and you're online, and you're in the newspapers, right. and all over the map. Thank you. What sign are you? I'm a Leo. You're a Leo. Mm -hmm. Well, I said I was going to marry a Leo, but, maybe, but I don't mean you because you know how it is. Oh, I don't okay. know. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, remember, you can catch all of our conversations on YouTube or follow us on Twitter at Fanny Studio 4.